Welcome to my channel, where we explore humanity's most fascinating ideas and profound mysteries. Today, we delve into a topic that affects us all without exception. Stupidity. Since time immemorial, humanity has faced an invisible, insidious, and surprisingly powerful enemy. Stupidity. We're not talking about a lack of intelligence, but rather a condition of the soul that clouds reason and leads to destructive actions. It is an endemic evil that has persisted throughout history, manifesting itself in different ways across cultures and eras. Two great thinkers, separated by time and space, dedicated their lives to understanding this phenomenon. Dietrich Bonhoeffer a German theologian who challenged the Nazi regime, and Carlo M. Cipolla, an Italian economic historian. Bonhoeffer, from his Nazi prison cell, observed how stupidity spread like a plague, more dangerous than evil itself. Evil, he argued, can be fought with reason and force, but stupidity is immune to both. It is an impenetrable wall of self-centeredness and an inability to consider other perspectives. For Bonhoeffer, stupidity was not simply a lack of intelligence, but a moral defect. The stupid person refuses to think for themselves, preferring the comfort of blind obedience and submission to authority, even if it is corrupt or destructive. In Nazi Germany, stupidity manifested itself in the uncritical acceptance of propaganda and the persecution of minorities, a phenomenon that, unfortunately, is repeated in different contexts throughout history. Cipolla, in turn, formulated five fundamental laws of stupidity that, with ironic humor, reveal its omnipresence and destructive power. First law. We always underestimate the number of stupid people in circulation. We believe we are surrounded by reasonable people, but the reality is that stupidity is much more common than we think. Cipolla argues that this is due to our tendency to overestimate human rationality. Second law, stupidity does not discriminate. It is found everywhere, regardless of intelligence, education, or social status. We can find it in an illiterate person as well as in a Nobel laureate. Stupidity is not a matter of IQ, but of an inability to use reason for one's own benefit and that of others. Third law. A stupid person causes damage to others without obtaining any benefit for themselves and may even lose out in the process. Their actions are irrational and harmful to everyone, including themselves. This is the very essence of stupidity, the inability to understand the consequences of one's own actions. Fourth law. We underestimate the harmful power of stupid people. We do not realize how their seemingly insignificant actions can have devastating consequences for society. Cipolla warns that stupidity, being unpredictable, can cause much greater damage than evil. Fifth law. The stupid person is the most dangerous person there is. Their ability to cause harm without gaining any benefit makes them an unpredictable and difficult to control threat. Unlike the evil person who acts with a purpose, the stupid person acts without logic or reason, which makes them even more dangerous. And this is where the reflection becomes disturbing. How do these theories manifest themselves in today's world? Have we learned anything from history? It seems not, because stupidity continues to be rampant in our society. We live in an era of unprecedented information, but also of rampant misinformation. Social media, with its immediacy and ability to go viral, has become a breeding ground for stupidity. Opinions become radicalized, empathy is eroded, and constructive dialogue becomes increasingly difficult. Fake news spreads like wildfire, and the truth is diluted in a sea of contradictory information. 
political polarization, religious fanaticism, racism, and xenophobia are just some examples of how stupidity manifests itself today. We see examples of stupidity every day. Climate change denial, the proliferation of conspiracy theories, religious or political fanaticism, corruption, senseless violence. It seems that humanity has learned nothing from the tragedies of the past. History is full of examples of how stupidity has led to wars, genocides, and other catastrophes. But not all is lost. The fight against stupidity begins with awareness. We must cultivate critical thinking, the ability to question, to doubt, to listen to others. We must learn to discern truthful information from manipulation and lies. We must be able to form our own opinions based on reason and evidence and not on emotion or prejudice. Education, in the broadest sense, is the best weapon against stupidity. An education that is not limited to the accumulation of knowledge, but that fosters autonomy, critical thinking, and social responsibility. An education that teaches us to think for ourselves, to be informed citizens committed to building a better world. The future of humanity depends, to a large extent, on our ability to overcome stupidity. It is an enormous challenge, but not impossible. As Bonhoeffer said, against stupidity the gods themselves contend in vain. But we, with effort and perseverance, can at least try. We can start with ourselves, cultivating intelligence, empathy, and respect for others. We can promote a culture of dialogue and tolerance, where reason prevails over ignorance and hatred. And above all, we can educate new generations to be more aware of the danger of stupidity and better prepared to confront it. Only then can we build a more just, more peaceful, and more intelligent future for all. I hope this video has given you much to think about. If you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell so you don't miss any videos. And share this video with your friends, family, neighbors, pets, plants, with everyone. Because the fight against stupidity is a task that concerns us all. See you in the next video. And now, I recommend this video.